Hi everybody, welcome back to Prison Architect. Here we are once again inside our ladies' prison, looking at Club Med, which is currently under construction. That's right, we're getting there with Club Med. It's starting, it's really starting to come together now in a major way, which is nice. We're gonna be feeding all these ladies before we know it. We're go they're gonna be showering every morning in hot water once we get the boilers and stuff set up. In actual fact, let's get a water boiler set up right now. We'll get a, a water boiler set up here at the end so that we can pipe it up quick. Uh, we can get the electrics in quick as well. And then bam, like this, all the way around, we get the, wa the hot water pipe going. Perfect, okay. That's hot water for all those ladies. That's one job done straight away. Perfect. All right, so we still have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of money at our disposal now, all of a sudden as well. We have 17,599 bucks. We have a little bit of intake turning up in the next four hours. We have 104 prisoners up for parole, if you can believe. That's nuts, isn't it? Uh, we're gonna have to go into programs and get some parole hearings set up. So let's just go nuts on the parole hearings. We're gonna have to reschedule all the programs as well. Uh, and we're gonna have to get into the schedule and edit it so that we have paroles happening all the damn time. Okay, so we have MinSec parole uh, with death row appeals. Okay, that's gonna annoy the crap out of me. Okay, we, it looks like we have death row appeals happening everywhere but death row. Okay, parole, death row appeals, and then parole hearings. Right, okay, gotcha. Okay, so let's move this over here. To, to this one and then this death row appeal can go over here okay or, or not it turns oh, for fuck's sake for fuck's sake I mean come on now okay we're gonna have to get rid of this one then so that we have some space to move these around okay parole hearing death row appeal parole hearing um, okay this parole hearing okay death row appeal can go here parole hearing here instead where are, where are death row appeals happening there? That's fine. And then parole hearings, parole hearings. We have a parole hearing here as well. Do we have another death row appeal? Yep. Okay. Got another death row appeal here. Parole hearing can go there instead. And then we got parole hearings happening there, 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 all the way down. Parole hearings. This is good, actually. Okay. Parole hearing set up in MinSec. This is really good. Guard taser certification is happening as well. This is pretty nice. Um, it looks like we've sorted that all out for now. We could do with one more death row appeal on, uh, on death row because we canceled the other one. So let's do that. Let's see if we can get a... There's no way of actually doing it. Oh, and it's saying that all these rooms are booked as well. Okay, so let's just cancel all these other ones that I've added in because I've added in too many now. Okay, let's get rid of these. And then we have death row appeals. We can do one more. So let's ed edit the schedule, make sure that it's gone into the right place. Okay, it hasn't. Fuck me. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I mean, why would it do this? It's, oh, God, it's so fucking annoying. Okay, let's do this then. And then let's get this death row appeal over here. Okay, the death row appeals are the most important anyway. Okay, let's leave it like that. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got parole hearings happening all throughout the day. We should hopefully be able to get these 104 prisoners up for parole. Um, through the system and out and then we'll make some money off them as well, which is going to be phenomenal uh, We wanted to concentrate on getting um, this solitary uh, Section done, so we're gonna do that for now. We're gonna make sure that it's all done and ready to go Which it almost is which is pretty good um, And then we've got some money to get another um, Sort of uh, block of cells done here as well for MinSec. Uh, and we can continue our migration of prisoners over too. It looks like we have two MinSec people turning up. Uh, do we have some vacant cells over here? Yes, okay. So rooms wise, we can say these are no longer rooms. We don't want any new intake of MinSec. We want to make sure that all of the people get moved over and that we dismantle. It's like a system that we've got going here for doing this, right? Somehow that was missed as well. That's really annoying. Okay, and another thing that we're going to need in here as well, before I forget, is our radiators as well. Okay, perfect. So we're going to make sure that those are getting some hot water as well, uh, which shouldn't be too hard. We should just be able to do that. And then there'll be some heat in Club Med as well, because it's not much of a Club Med if there's no heat, right? All of these people who are used to all the fine things in life through all of their financial frauds and stuff like that, 
all of a sudden they come to Club Med and they're like, wait, this is not the level of living I'm used to. What the fuck is going shit? All right, I tell you fucking what, Victoria Mundy, can somebody just fucking kill her? Fuck! She's out of control! Fuck's sake! Why can't you execute prisoners? It's so stupid! She's just on a fucking rampage like all the damn time, it's nuts! Okay, look at these assholes with their free time, okay? They get- uh, this ha this goes on for 108 hours as well. This is gonna cause some major issues. Victoria Mundy is probably not gonna be able to enjoy any of it though. Because of the nature of her, and the fact that she's just a, a bit of a jabroni as well. Uh, it means that, um, it means that she's just gonna be probably in solitary like the whole goddamn time. Okay, let's go like this then. Six grand to get these ones set up. My goodness. And then another six grand here, but it's not quite six. It is six grand. Even though we have all of this stuff in storage, it's still costing six grand. It's kind of nuts, actually. We can do another one. Look, we can actually do another one. So let's do it. And I think almost we can afford to do even another one, which is pretty good. Wow, we have another death row inmate turning up in 21 hours, which should be pretty exciting. Let's just take a quick look and make sure that we don't have anybody in here who is like... Because we've had some intake, right? There's always something to check, it turns out. You know what? We need to do a shakedown, too. There's guns and tasers and keys and everything. Fuck. Okay, good thing we did one. All right, April. Let's get you into the security room and find out if anybody else is in trouble. Um, it looks like everybody is... Excuse me. We weren't quite done yet, actually. Can you come back? Like, I didn't even get to see who was... Okay, you know what? Let's get... Leleni in instead. Maybe Leleni will actually stick around for about five minutes and let us actually see who is being um, threatened. Having their life threatened. Okay, Leleni, are you able to help us with that? Uh, like, of course, we don't have anybody available to escort Leleni to the thing because of the shakedown that's happening. Probably the worst time to... You know what? Fuck it. Leleni, you just turn up when you're ready. I'm, I'm pretty confident that we've got everything covered, so... Oh, for fuck's sake, look what it's done. No wonder it costs so much, it's because I got the fucking... Uh, this, uh, for fuck's sake! For fuck's sake, this game! No wonder it costs so much, I've just bought like... I mean, I need them anyway, but what the fuck is happening here? Oh, God, okay. I'll tell you what. That's the worst. Okay, we found a tunnel too. In actual fact, I'm pretty sure we didn't get rid of the last tunnel. Look at that. We didn't. <laughs> We've got like outstanding tunnels to be removed from the last shakedown. This is how behind we are on things. This is what happens when you're trying to run a major project and run the prison at the same time. This is why I need, I need some project managers in here to help me. Honestly, I can't do it alone anymore. Okay? It's like it's like like the old grandma looking after like her decrepit son, right? I'm too I can't do it anymore. I just can't we're gonna have to get somebody we got to delegate We're gonna have to get someone else in here to help before it's too late because honestly old old grandma Ma here cannot handle it anymore And this is the truth. Okay, so what we would like then instead is probably like This one just like that Okay calm and collected it's only gonna cost us two grand to make these ones, apparently. Oh, okay. Now this is per now this is more like it. Okay, that looks like, to me. Oh god, there's more fucking tunnels. For fuck's sake. Okay, let's get rid of the tunnels. There's just like a mini tunnel for fuck's sake. Okay, and now that we have like a million metal detectors, let's start getting them set up. We know that they're gonna be set up like all along here. Um, to go into all of these cell blocks. So let's get them set up. Okay, let's also get some metal detectors here and here. Um, this can be closed now. And deployment-wise, we can get a guard patrol uh, patrolling inside um, here as well. Okay. Perfect. Nice. Okay, we're going to need another guard patrolling up and down here as well. So that's fine. We can do that. Let's get you installed. Okay, perfect. And uh, now we have a whole bunch of Minsec turning up as well, potentially. So let's get rid of these rooms here. Um, we can get rid of probably a bunch of these too. We're down to six. So we just need six. Go. 
One minimum security still. Perfect. Okay, 50 normal security turning up. I guess we managed to process a whole bunch of them today through parole, which is pretty nice. Um, these three parole rooms are almost going to be exclusively used by normal sec pretty soon once uh, we get these ones up and running, which is pretty nice. Uh, we've got many parole hearings per day happening. And we're going to have four more set up down here in, in due course as well, which is going to be pretty nice. We have all these solitary cells down here too. Um, of course, this has uh, become non-minsec for some reason. Don't ask me why, but it just happens from time to time. And we still have 25 grand to play around with too, which is pretty damn good. Holy crap. Okay, let's go um, pipe-wise. Let's see if we can double up here. Doubling up, I think, would be utterly fantastic okay if we could avoid building like another one that would be good but let's just see we'll just see what happens okay we'll set that up like that and then see how it goes and then also hold on a second we need to get some hot water pipe pipeage into here like this as well and hopefully that boiler will be able to cover one boiler for two blocks okay that's that's the dream that's the dream that we're striving for okay we're striving for one dream and that dream is like I just said, right? I, it's it's exactly like I just said. Okay, so we're gonna go like this, and then two, like that, two, like that, two. It doesn't quite meet up, but you know what? It's probably fine. Okay, and then let's get some chairs like right in front too. We're gonna have a whole room. It's like a it's like a movie theater. Okay, they're gonna be able to sit in there and watch TV. Which I think is really nice. Okay, we're gonna get some payphones in here as well. We're gonna have to get a couple of payphones up in here in the canteen. It's always good to have some payphones in the canteen. So let's get like a whole bunch of payphones. Wait, that's not gonna work. They have to be able to walk through there. Okay, let's get some payphones set up on this side instead. Get a couple of payphones set up down here as well, and then along here too. Good, okay, so that's where you can talk on the phone. We don't want people talking on the phone too close to where they're watching the movies, even though it's gonna happen, okay? It's gonna happen, but still, let's make sure that it doesn't happen if it doesn't need to happen. Let's get rid of all of these because we don't want any more min-sec intake. We wanna get these people transferred over. These don't need to be solitary anymore so we can dismantle all this stuff. It's so nice! Isn't this nice? Isn't it great? Look at transferring all the people out of here, reclaiming this space, using it for better, bigger and better stuff like normal sex services and stuff. Oh man, I'm telling you, this is this is what I live for. I live for this. I love like chopping and changing in this game. I know I keep saying it, but I do love it. It's my favorite part of the game. I like chopping and changing and making things better. I like the whole the whole club med system I think is going to be awesome when it's done. When it's like up and running, it's going to be sweet as hell. Trust me. Okay, let's dismantle all that as well. Uh, so we have 50 normal security and one death row turning up in the next six hours. That's fine. Uh, we got to have some visitation rooms here as well. We promised that we would. So we're going we're gonna to honor that promise by having visitation like this and like that we're also going to have uh some metal detectors here as well we'll just leave the doors open because it doesn't really matter uh electricals fine we're gonna have to have them made up like that and like that and let's get a couple of things in here visitor tables that's right we can have like one two three four that should be more than enough right like that should be more than enough They've got phones and everything as well. I mean, how much visitation do you really want to friggin' do, okay? Uh, Club Med style visitation as well. So, like, uh, when they come in, they have to play, like, the Copacabana. And then, like, the, the rich, spoiled wife comes in like, darling! And she's, like, swinging her hips all over the place. And she's got, like, too much lipstick on and a floral dress. And the husband's like, ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. I don't want to see her. I'm too busy having sex with Lenny or whatever they end up doing in there now because like he's in jail So of course he's just like oh fuck. you know what this is not working this I don't know if this is gonna work We might have to actually stretch this over like this in the actual fact How is any of this working? Let's see if it works like that. We'll try to hook it up that way instead See if it works. It might be too much of a stretch coming from just the bottom. All right, perfect great Okay, so that's two Cell block set up now in Minsec. We're probably gonna have to get another water boiler here, but that's fine. And we've reclaimed just a ton of equipment as well, so that we're ready to rock and roll for the next one. All right, so we still have some people down here who need these services, but not for much longer. 
Uh, because we're hopefully going to get this next block built out. And then, bam, we're ready to rock and roll. It's going to be nuts as anything. Okay, so quick build, clone. We want to make sure that we're cloning the right ones, okay? That's probably fine like that, actually. Uh, so that's fine. We want to go like uh, that. Perfect. Like that. And then like this. We've got a tunnel that's been found, apparently. We might need to do a shakedown. Let me just see what's going on here. Have we actually found a tunnel? Oh my god, we actually found a tunnel. Like, not during a shakedown, if you can believe that. That's nuts. Okay, we have 11 grand left. Are we doing a shakedown? Hell yeah, we're doing a shakedown. All the time. All day, every day, we're shaking down. Okay, because you never know when a tunnel is going to be built. We want to be the first people to find these tunnels when they are built, for fuck's sake. We're going to find these tunnels and we're going to, we're going to do them. We're going to, we're going to collapse them. We're going to fill them. We're going to get Lenny the filler in with his bricks and his mortar and his cement or whatever. Fuck sake! Every time! <laughs> Stop doing this! Oh god, the clone tool. Seriously, it's going to be the end of me. We punched a hole into the into the outer rim once again. We're gonna have to get it sorted out. Look, come on. Punch okay, the hole's been punched. Now you guys who are gonna be lazy and take the easy route, you're gonna have to take the long route instead. You busters. That's just the way that it's gonna go. Alright, they're gonna have to come all the way around. Look at all of these people in Minsec enjoying themselves, praying, doing stuff. Having beds delivered. Look, they probably got like IKEA shopping. Looks like some a civilian has been seriously injured. I'm not even sure who did that. As soon as I find out, they're getting out. They're gonna be busted up to at least normal sec. I don't. I don't condone that at all. And actually, I won't put up with it either. If you're in here assaulting civilians, you're gonna get the ban hammer. You're gonna be moved. You're gonna be busted up. You're gonna be busted up to like max sec or something at least. Because we're not, we're not putting up with it, okay? That's for damn sure. Fuck's sake. Unbelievable. What's our capacity in max sec, actually? Holy, maximum security capacity. We're not even doing intake in maximum security, which is just as well, too. It'd probably be a friggin' nightmare if we were. I'm kind of thinking, though, like, with max sec, I wonder if we, we change around max sec. We do intake. We make, like, a big old max sec facility, but give them cells similar to the ones in super max and keep max sec on... on pretty much a permanent lockdown but they'll have everything they need inside their cells um, and they can only come out to eat sort of thing like twice a day I think that that would be good so like in the canteen it would just be literally tables and telephone booths and like for the four hours or so that they get out of their cells a day um, they could just come out make a quick phone call eat and then go back to like playing PlayStation in their cell like full-time Kinsley Widden has turned up as a death row inmate, which is pretty good. And we have plenty of capacity for more um, Minsec now. Was it 11? So that's what? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 5 more as well. Holy crap. Okay. Good. Okay. And then 3 more too? Okay. Sure. 4. Looks like these cells are coming online. This is pretty good. Alright. Let's uh, dismantle all of these then. Reuse them. Re reuse, refuse, and recycle all of this stuff. That's what I was taught in school. And I like to make sure that in every sort of facet of my life, I put it to practice as well. I want to make all of my old teachers proud of me. I want them to think that, you know, the stuff that they did try to teach me, even though I barely paid attention, did kind of sink in. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good to go here. You know, honestly, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think the migration is pretty much complete now. Let's dismantle all of this gear. Let's get all these ladies moved across. I think we're pretty much done with this other one. Looks like we are. Perfect. Okay, deployment-wise, we're going to get a guard deployed in here uh, on a patrol pretty much full-time. So let's get him, like, here. Perfect. Uh, let's also make sure that this deployment area is minsec as well, which currently is not for some fucking reason. Okay, perfect. And the shakedown is just taking uh, literally an eternity to finish as well. Okay, let's get all of this stuff out of here as well. We're going to dismantle all of this stuff so that it can be reused elsewhere. All these tables and stuff too. We're going to have a couple of extra serving tables and chairs. Bookcase. There's that that can go as well. 
All this crap can go too. It's no longer needed. Uh, this doesn't need to be a yard anymore. This can go too. So let's go objects, dismantle. Um, oh, hang on a second. Actually, it's materials. Demolish walls. We want to demolish these walls as well. Okay, this is going to be nice. Oh, boy. Things are happening, boys. Look at this. This is nice, isn't it? Holy jumping Jehoshaphat. God, we have 47 grand in the bank. Um, we have four minimum security prisoners turning up, so... Everybody has been migrated, and some people have been let out as well, if you could believe that. And we can keep expanding Club Med. Fuck me! This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Okay, it's time to clone up some more of these parole rooms, because we're going to need them. Okay, we're going to want to get people out of here on a constant um, evolving basis, right? Like, it has to happen. So let's go here, down here, like this. Let's get this all set up with the lights and everything as well. And now that we've got the money too, let's go for the second power station because we're going to need it. Let's get all the capacitors in as well. And then we can get this other grid up and running. So this one can just go all the way through like this. It's going to power all of the, like the lower reaches, I guess. Call them. Uh, this go in like that, like that. Let's go into these rooms. Perfect. And then let's get this like down to here, and this can go like this. Oh my god, our, our prisoner capacity is gonna be nuts when all this is done. Can you fucking believe this? Holy sh... She had to. Man, I am excited about this. This is great. Whoops, hang on a second. Did we miss one here? Oh, we did. Somehow that was cancelled, I guess. I'm not sure why. Okay, perfect. So our power situation for Club Met is fantastic. And what the fuck is happening here? The parole lawyer here is seriously injured. Hang on a second. Alright, doctor. Come on, get out here and help this parole lawyer up. Take the long way if you must. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, here she comes. Here she comes. She's making her way over to the parole lawyer who's injured. Will she be able to help? We don't know. Let's see. Yeah! Hey, he's cured! Now he can go home! Hey, honey, I'm home! What happened to you today? I don't know, I passed out outside the jail. I, I, I had one of my episodes, I guess, and next thing I knew, I was being serviced by a doctor out in the cold. Rain as well, it was zero degrees Celsius. I could have died of exposure. Wait. Oh, for fuck's sakes, really? All right, we're gonna have to do lockdown. Oh my god. Okay, good. Who's this? It's Chiara Costa. Who went on a fucking rampage and killed two people as well. Fuck's sake. Okay, you know what? Our armed guards, we're, we've lost so many of them. So many of them are dying. Okay, we're gonna have to hire a whole bunch more. Like, we've lost a bunch. I'm pretty sure we've lost a bunch of guards as well. Christ. Okay, fine. Our Supermax is still giving us a run for our money. Unbelievably, actually. Uh, it's kind of un unreal, really, that this is still happening. Uh, but there we go. Okay, we're gonna get some lights in here as well. We're gonna have to have a guard patrolling down here too. So let's do it. We'll make sure that the guard is patrolling in this area here. And, of course, also... We're gonna need one metal detect- one times metal detector as well. Perfect! This is good! This is great! I'll tell you what, this is awesome! It, it- things are going so well right now, even though two people just died. But look at- like, fucking Club Med is actually like up and running. We've done it! We've moved pretty much everyone over. We can get all of their services set up in here in- in, in a minute as well. And then we can get some guys working in the kitchen and stuff too. Oh, it's gonna be fantastic. Holy crap. God, Club Med is really shaping up. Then we can open up their yard. And once we buy this land, we can expand the yard. And maybe even expand Club Med out a little bit as well. Which is gonna be pretty exciting too. And altogether, I feel like this part of the prison is much better than this part of the prison. But, I don't know. We'll have a vote and see. See who thinks is the, the best part of the prison. We have 65 hours of free time left to go uh, that we have to honor. And then once that's done, we should be good. Uh, Kinsley Widden and Rose Sponseller are both looking like they're going to be executed. Hopefully they don't get clemency. 
Uh, and the rest is all sort of uh, working like clockwork now. I think maybe we could do with having a couple more gardeners. Just to like spruce, because look at this, there's like some daisies growing on the walls here. But otherwise, everything is looking pretty good. Alright, well listen, we'll be back next time for some more. We'll do some more club medding and uh, getting um, some of the services set up for the people who are in club med. Probably get neat. They'll probably need a shop and some other stuff, but we got space. Uh, and if we move into this tile back here, we can get even more space and more services for them as well. I think that'll be pretty good. Uh, and then once Club Med is more or less complete, we can come back in here, rip out some of this, replan some of it, get some more capacity for normal sec, or go with what I was saying about max sec, setting up some proper cells, putting them on a permanent lockdown, maybe even just occupying this whole area here like a new max sec layout or something that could be pretty cool but we'll have to see all right but for now uh thanks for watching and i'll see you next time